I'm not sure what your philosophy is with uh, how long you plan to hold these properties, but do you keep in mind that you know you might sell these properties one day, and, and as as you're doing these different maintenance things, capital improvements, and um, yeah, how does that how does one day it being for sale affect how you maintain it? That's a great question. We don't have the future sale in mind. All of our mortgages, most of them are on 30-year fixed, so we intend of holding them long-term because we do want to create that kind of passive income for us. And we did find a nice little niche in the marketplace that we really enjoy, and these are small approachable investment properties that we can use conventional financing to purchase. Um, a big thing for me is appreciation. And so we do leverage the equity in our properties. And one way of leveraging that equity is maintaining that property so that when an appraiser does walk in, the condition of the property reflects what other market properties are looking at. And so that you can get the value back so that you can pull a, a HELOC or a line of credit um, or do a cash out refi. So it, for us, I think it's mostly maintaining the equity in our property so that we can leverage that into further, further properties. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, like you said, even if you're not going to sell it if you're going to have an appraiser come through, mm -hmm. you know, the condition of the property will reflect on the value. For sure. So it's really important to keep that in mind. And the condition of the property reflects on the condition of the renter. And so if you have good properties that are in good condition, you're going to have great renters that love it for long term. Yep. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.